Hello, and a very warm welcome to you. This is the EDCI 6370 course, also known as the Curriculum Leadership for Teacher Leaders course. This course prepares teacher leaders with knowledge and skills central to curriculum design, development and evaluation with an emphasis on facilitating curriculum decision-making for continuous improvement. Towards these ends, we will critically explore curriculum as a socially and culturally embedded process of relational decision-making, which requires that teacher leaders effectively harness the expertise, skills, and passions of colleagues for curricular innovation that positively influences student learning and transforms schools. After you watch this video, also please visit the About Your Professor section where I provide a brief informal self-introduction. Later, you will also be writing your own self-introduction via the discussion board on Blackboard. In this present video, however, we will be taking a brief tour across the course in order to highlight important information for your attention to get you started on this course. In order to begin with this course, you need to familiarize yourself with the outlay of our Blackboard course management system, as well as the course syllabus. At this time, please open our course Blackboard page on your computer or digital device. I will give you a few moments to do this. Regarding the layout of our Blackboard course management system, you will find general information in the Start Here section. Then, you will find all weekly materials and activities in the course material section. Discussion boards and grade information, on the other hand, can be accessed via the course tools section. Blackboard technology and support information as well as important general university related information can be located in the resources section. Now, please go to the course syllabus section on Blackboard and download the syllabus. Your course syllabus provides you with an accessible, portable go-to document that also highlights your weekly readings, tasks and assignments, as well as the grading weights and other important course information. Please be sure to take it under eye. Both our course Blackboard site and the syllabus indicate that this course is divided into seven modules. Again, you can refer to these in the course material section. These modules are week one, curriculum and backward design, week two, community and identity in curriculum planning, week three, student, background, cultural and linguistic knowledge in curriculum planning, week four, accommodations and technology in curriculum planning, week five, organizing centers and alignment to standards in curriculum planning, week six, performance and other assessments for curriculum planning. And then of course, last but not least, week seven, instruction and peer revision for curriculum planning. Furthermore, for this course, you will be expected to complete all readings and assignments as prescribed in the syllabus in a timely fashion. Among others, you will write a reading reflection based on the readings for each week. Here you are encouraged to make connections between the word of the readings and the world of curriculum and schooling. Assignments will include writing definitions of key curriculum concepts, as well as a statement of philosophy, creating a graphic organizer about identity, creating a short video describing your personal and past experiences with curriculum, and completing case study scenarios pertaining to meeting student needs. Other requirements for this course also include viewing all videos and films, visiting all external web-based resources, completing quizzes, 
and completing the various segments of your curriculum mini unit assignment by the due dates. In particular, your curriculum mini unit assignment will be comprised of five layers, the organizing center, and of course, alignment and placement relative to standards, learning goals and objectives, assessment planning, and instructional planning. Remember that you will be working with a partner to peer review and in some cases co-write one another's curriculum mini unit plans. Participation will consequently be key throughout this course. And for this reason, it is imperative that you participate in all online discussions via the discussion board, as well as collaborate with your partner to review one another's curriculum mini units, as these are developed in the five stages across the course, as described before. By the way, there is no reason to stress out about this course. As the saying goes, how do you eat an elephant? Piece by piece. We will cover this course piece by piece or one week at a time and I will be here to support you. However, it will be essential for you to officially organize your time so as to ensure that you keep up and do not fall behind. Please contact me anytime you need. My contact information has been provided in the syllabus this also includes letting me know should you at any time experience issues accessing course content or have technology accessibility issues. I am here for you. Let's enjoy this time together.